Adobe InDesign, in this video we're going to talk about creating radio buttons for PDF forms. So you're going to want to have the buttons and forms. So let me catch you up here. So if you don't see this workspace here, you're going to want to go to Window, Workspace, and select Advanced. Okay. If you don't have your buttons here, you're going to go to Window and to Interactive, and you want to select Buttons and Forms. So these are the two things that you're going to need. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. Radio buttons are designed to give you multiple choice, but the end user only selects a single item. The way I like to do it is I like to make a frame. This is what's going to be the actual button. And then I actually also prefer to have a rectangle to have the design elements. Okay, So in this case, I have a rectangle here. I'm going to select and actually fill it because we all know that a rectangle, you have to select the border. It's in front of, so I'm going to go to, with my select tool, to Object and Arrange, and I'm going to send that to the back. Okay. Now my frame is in front of it. I'm going to click and drag across both of them with the select tool. And now up here in my preference bar, I'm going to align them both vertically and horizontally. They're both aligned now. Okay. This is still just a basic frame here. What you want to do is go ahead and create a group. Radio buttons, like I said, are multiple choices that need to be created at the same time. So what you're going to want to do now is select all three of your frames that are going to be radio buttons. So not the background, just the actual frame. So this is going to be three radio buttons. On the buttons form, you're going to go ahead and click under type and select radio button. Now what connects all of these together is the fact that they all have the same name. So if you look at here, normally you want the name to be different. In this case, this is what's associating all three of these options with one radio button group. So now they're all set up there. Under the PDF options, they are printable. Okay? And then the button value here, we're going to need to fill this in here. So what are my choices? So using the type tool, I'm just going to click and drag right next to it here. I like having um, my text uh, center line, so I'm going to up update that in just a second. So let's say this is going to be apples. I'm going to click off of it uh, using my alignment up here. I'm going to go not top, not bottom, but middle align here uh, using the paragraph tab. I'm going to open the paragraph again, window, text, and then paragraph. I'm going to center align it. Or in fact, I can leave it left align here. And in the character tab, I'm going to go ahead and increase the font, make it a little bit larger, easier to see. Okay, now with this selected here, I'm going to use the Alt key with the select tool and shift, which Alt duplicates it and Shift uh, keeps the alignment. Okay, so I just dropped it down. This is pears, and then down here we're going to make bananas. Now we've got the actual button itself, the actual, uh, which is the radio button, the, the decorative element, and then the actual choices. And we want to connect the button to the choices now. So select the first one, and down here under the description, uh, actually, excuse me, under the button value, you're going to go ahead and select apples. So we know now that the apples is connected to this one. Select the next one. My choice here is going to be pears. And then select the last one. The choice here is going to be bananas. So now that I have all three of these together here, what we can do now is go ahead and export this and show you how it works. So one last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select here one of these uh, frames. I'm going to drag it and make it a little bit larger. And you might consider putting some kind of design element here. Now I'm going to back up here because I actually deleted the other one by accident. And uh, make it look and feel like an actual group. Okay, Alt drag so I can make a duplicate instead of actually pulling it off here. Okay, now I notice it's gone. It's because this is in front. So again, object, arrange, and send to back. Okay, so now we've got basically a radio group. And what I'm going to do now is go to File, actually let's save it, Control S, Command S, and then Export. Should be about halfway down here. I'm going to export now, okay, as an interactive PDF. Yours may default to print. We want interactive PDF. Click Save. In this case, I've already got a copy of it. What you want to do in this pop up screen is make sure that down here you've got Create a Tagged PDF selected, okay, and then click Export. Now this is the third page of my uh, form here, so I'm going to skip the top two here and just go right down to the third one. And now when you go inside of here, you can see I can now select, but I can't select both uh, or all three objects. A radio button group will only allow you to select a single choice. Probably want to have some sort of description and label also at the top.